Welcome back. Today I've got another Borderland 1 video for you guys. Um, I'll be going over farming vending machines. So I've found about four spots that you can farm. Roughly about mid-game in Borderlands 1. You can also do this at end-game, obviously, when everything scales to you as well. Um, I've just found some absolutely amazing gear in my one life run. If you've got a bit of cash that you can just save up around when you're like level 20 to 25 or whatever, like I'm level 26 now, uh, you can go to these four spots and they can give you legendaries, uh, absolutely amazing purple class mods, uh, transfusion grenades, uh, all sorts, um, great snipers, everything. So the first location will be uh what's it called treacher's landing um so what you want to do is in here you see this 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 one right here specifically i've got in all of these class mods that i'll show you just from this vending machine you can just save and quit reload back in this area and this will just give you absolutely amazing purple class mods um so i'll show you all the class mods now if you look at all of these i've got a scavenger i've upgraded this this gives you extra rare items um, i'm not sure if this affects vending machines but you can just chuck it on just in case i've got this amazing ranger one uh mercenary siren one which gives you smg you can just have a look at all the stats like i've farmed this just from these vending machines obviously this is uh for my brother because i'm doing a one life run yeah, just from that vending machine has given me like absolutely amazing class mods this one here um and then you can also just farm grenades from here as well um and then yeah just saving cuts so that's the first location then the second location will be the middle of nowhere you can either uh save and quit in the area just keep reloading just to rav class mods or you can do like a sort of uh four-way loop is what i like to do and then save and quit and then do the four-way loop again then this one here you can also get class mods uh shields as well and the other one um grenades see like that's got a transfusion grenade definitely pick that up and then this one just seems to have like obviously there's not any good gear in here but you can keep reloading and this can give you anarchies um like i've found hellfires a great stinger like look at that fire rate double anarchy stingers this is a good sniper rifle that's a great um ar the shotgun's decent the rocket launcher is great four times fire with absolutely amazing fire rate equalizer like all of the scare are found out of these vending machines and you can literally just farm them and save and go i reckon this is the best way to just get gear early game mid game etc uh shock contract contact grenade transfusion grenade these shields like okay so this is the second area which you can get good weapons from and then we have the underdome as well this will give you decent gear so here's weapons in here grenade and then more class mods and shield the other one the reason why i recommend the other one is is because they seem to just give you four like three to four purples in uh treacherous landing so that one there i would go for class mods this one's sort of like a bit of everything same with this and then new haven seems to have dropped me two hellfires from it as well so i've gotten two legendary um hellfires from the uh, gun store so yeah you can run through from these four locations and pretty much just upgrade your whole arsenal um so there's that one there and then this right here as well yeah if you look at all this gear this is this is like top notch gear for being level like 25 26 
yeah, if you could give me a like and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Like, all of these class ones are amazing. Um, yeah, if you thought this video was helpful at all, just to subscribe or a like or anything um, would just be really appreciated. But yeah, just do that full run, or even just farm one if you just want class mods, like I've shown you, and then just save and quit, and then just do the four locations again. Roughly around this level, you'll get to these areas. And yeah, hope this helps. See you guys in the next one.